And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ash Harrowing. Uh, that's right, we got a, a, a little bit different version of Ash Harrowing here submitted by a viewer. It's a donation deck, that's what the two Ds mean up here. Um, and it looks like a pretty interesting one that we're going to be able to do some really cool stuff. So we have um, some early creatures with like our Omen Hawk, Avaros, and Sentry. Um, you know, our Icefield Archers are getting the Frostbite in. We got some cheap stuff, and then we have like Blighted Caretaker to be able to kill them to get two saplings and uh, therefore have our that ally die and then the two saplings die. So I have three total things die for our Callistas. So we can use Blighted Caretaker to level up Callista. Um, but then we got our normal Ash stuff, you know, like with Rhymefang Wolf, like we talked about Ice Veil Archer also. Um, you know, we have that good combination in here. We have Babbling Bjergs. Draw a unit with five plus power that are always drawing Ash. I love that. Um, so, you know, it's four mana, um, tutor for Ash, put Ash in your hand, and get a 3-3. Three, three. That's awesome. Um, and then Chronicler of Ruins, which is going to be, like, one of my favorite things. Kill an ally, then revive it. So we can, like, you know, kill Babbling Bjerg and get a new Ash. <laughs> you know, so we can turn Chronicler of Ruin basically into another Babbling Bjerg. We can, um, you know, kill the Averroes and Sentry draw a card. We can kill Omen Hawk to, you know, do the Omen Hawk thing again with the Summon Trigger. And then, of course, Rekindler. Um, Chronicle of Ruin is amazing with Rekindler. Get another allied champion in play. Um, we got three Rekindlers at the top end. and we So we have the combo of Callista plus Rekindler. That's always a great combo. With Rekindler is our biggest uh, allied follower. So if, if we have a dead Rekindler, Callista will always be putting in Rekindler into play. Um, <clears throat> but also Rekindler is putting Ash into play because Ash is going to be our biggest, uh, champion. So like, that's good. The Kalissa is not a bigger champion than Ash. So I like that too. And then we have one Harrowing in here. We got nine mana Harrowing now that can, uh, hopefully bring back a bunch of Ashes, Rekindlers, Kalistas, all that kind of stuff. So cool. Like a lot of cool, like synergy and combo in here. All right. So let's give this a try. We're going to go play some Ash Harrowing. Yeah, this, this should be this should be pretty good. Okay, playing against Vi Heimer. Hmm. We're mulliganing Rekindler, and uh, I kind of want to mulligan Ice Veil Archer. It's not really something I want to play on turn two. Because they won't have anything to, like, Frostbite. It's just playing a three. Actually, no, we'll keep it. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it. We'll just play it on turn two. Um, and then they can they can Mystic Shot my Ice Veil Archer. <clears throat> Or whatever, but that means that's that's one less removal spell they have for like the Rhyme Fang Wolf and, and so on. Take from the rich, give them in. Oh, well they had a Kempunk pickpocket, so this worked out just fine. What do you think about Callista versus Thresh for a deck like this? I like them both. I mean, I, I like Thresh too. You know, Thresh is uh, smaller than um, Ash. So I like that as far as power wise, as far as getting back with Rekindler like that. So that's important. Um, yeah, yeah I, th I think you can go kind of either way. I like, uh, I like both options. Oh, Chronicler ruins a girl. I didn't realize that either. All right, so we're gonna try to use Blighted Caretaker to get rid of a bunch of sap, or get rid, you know, get the saplings, get rid of some turrets. Ugh. My opponents have been doing this. Last time I played against Hyberdinger, they had all three Flash of Brilliance. It's not exactly what you would call fair. 
Because of burn? Really? What's wrong with burn? Why, why would you be mad at, at burn? This is my my least favorite card of the game is this one right here, Heimer Deer. At least one my least favorite card playing against. Like this is this is that's just not that's not reasonable. What just happened there? That's not reasonable. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised Heimer didn't get nerfed either. And yeah, it's true. Yeah, nerfing said someone in the chat said nerfing burn buff Heimer Dinger too much. I mean, it's yeah, it's just when I mean, they got for zero mana that turn, they just put twelve power and toughness into play for zero mana. That's not that's not reasonable. So if I want to play Rhymefang Wolf, <clears throat> um, then I only have Harsh Winds. I'd rather have Callista in play than Rhymefang Wolf. No, I haven't tried to make the new mind meld work. No, I don't think I don't think mind meld really changed. You know, it's it's now seven mana instead of eight. I don't think that really changed the card. <laughs> it did toughness, not power. Hmm. Against an ash deck. I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess withering. I guess they're scared of withering whale. I suppose. I suppose. I wish I could play both Brittle Steel and Flash Freeze, but then also have like just another threat. Like I just don't I don't have enough stuff out in play. Um, I just can't really kill them this turn.
Okay, yeah, you thought they were playing around Brill Steel. That makes sense. So you, <clears throat> so you think they should make Flash of Brilliance two mana instead of two mana instead of three mana? And then would it would it refill your spell mana so you would gain you would net mana from it, or would it just refill two mana? Silly. Do you think that making the elusive turret four mana instead of three balances a bit? So you'd get four one elusives at four mana? I mean, there's a lot of good four mana spells with the, you know, Will of Ionia, Deny, the Barrier, um, Gotcha, Static Shock. You'd want all of those to make four one elusives? I don't think that would be better. I, will play my I honestly think that, yeah, I don't think that would be better. Um, A lost battle. I don't, I don't know if that'd be worse, but I don't think it'd really be better. Elusive is just such a powerful mechanic. <clears throat> What's the one that's useless? Like the barrier one? That's the one that's useless. That could be like three. Or at least like that's... The, see, that, that's like a seven mana thing. Feels like elusive should be either... Like not something where there's a ton of great spells for you. Like that's a ton of great spells for elusive. It feels like elusive needs to either be like a one mana thing and you just get one one elusives because they're not... You know, like they don't really hurt you that much, or something like six or seven, some one of those mana costs that there's not good spells at. I don't, I don't really like putting it it at two, three, or four. There's a lot of good two, three, and four mana spells. Normally I'd mulligan Withering Whale, but this does look like this could be a pretty good Withering Whale matchup. It depends on if they're able to buff their things up too much. <clears throat> Definitely don't like drawing all of our ashes. Uh, I mean, I guess we can shuffle them back. We can, Yeah, we're just going to have to shuffle them back. We're going to have to cast like some Flash Freezes, shuffle them back. Um, definitely not the card I wanted to see, because that makes, that makes other things not Withering Whale a bull. So that was... Certainly a card I didn't did not want to see. It's not that hard to deal with a bunch of 1-1 elusives. You're only attacking for one. I mean there's there's a lot of spells that do like one damage. You only have room for six things across. Oh, that's yeah, that's game. That's game. They picked the wrong row. Full speed ahead. I will unite the family. 
natural. I got you. Aberrosans, stand together. That is one mean green glade duo. Okay. Never see me Good draw. I can eat a green glade duo. Let's move. Me if you can. I'm gonna brittle steel. So I have a backup brittle steel. In case that's needed, let's see. It's eight. I guess at that point, I maybe could have just used the flash freeze. I'm considering Glimpse Beyond. Yeah, I could also glimpse Hawk. Extra hands never hurt. Guide our allies, my friend. Nope. Yeah, we can't glimpse Hawk. We need we need three blockers. They'll never see us coming. Remember the plan. Okay, we're down to one. Not dead yet. <laughs> yeah. Now we just need Ember Maiden. Had another mana. These are dangerous lands. Swiftly now. I mean, obviously, obviously, if we have one more mana, the game would be over. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe babbling into Crystal Arrow would have been better. That could have been a lethal attack if they, you know, depending on what they had. Okay, so they would have they would have just responded with that. Target. 
We're not dead yet, opponent. We are not dead yet. You cannot get rid of Ash so easily. We're still at 10. Like our chance is a little bit better. So we have to go. The Harsh Winds is a great draw, by the way. We have to go Rekindler to get. Let's see, that puts 10 power into play. That's only that's only 14. Yeah, but we're going to go rekindle it. I'm going to keep this as flash freeze. So it's just 14 if I have the if I go crystal arrow line. They cannot strike what they cannot see. Not quite lethal, but <clears throat> I like how we have Harsh Winds and Flash Freeze for next turn. I love it. Another Harsh Winds. I guess we can't cast two Harsh Winds. That doesn't really matter for being a draw. Cool. Can Chronicler Rekindler get another Ash? That was a bat. That's bad. I can I can block both of those. I should have just done the life play because they have another elusive. Now I die. That was dumb. I I did want to do this because if they play another thing, I didn't want to do the the green glade duo because they do another thing. But I should have still done an elusive. The time is right. Strike now. Yeah, I mean I I should have just done an elusive because I could have like they have a pump spell to kill me now. That was that was bad. Okay, I I didn't get punished. That was bad. It's just lethal, I just... I mean, it's lethal if I just harsh winds and attack. This is getting a little cute, playing this first. What about that style? Yeah, Twin Disciplines, Take Heart, a lot of things would have just killed me right then. That was silly. Pretty crazy game for us to come back though from. Like that was, you know, trip. They had trip. Turn one Omen Hawk. Turn two double Omen Hawk. Turn three five four. Um. Uh, you know, five four Green Glade duo and three two. Um, other elusive and attacking with that. That was clutch. <laughs> you can't re revive. Frostbite. Frostbite Archer is a play trigger, so doing the Chronicler of Ruin on Frostbite Archer doesn't doesn't help you. It, it's not a summon. You, you don't get anything for that. Uh, 
Okay, this is going to be a little bit more difficult because they're they're just as aggressive, but they have the burn spells to finish me off whenever I try to stabilize at a low life total. So this is going to be even more difficult. Hey, Mamba Man. No problem. No problem. Congrats on getting partner again. I would like to draw Withering Whale. That's not a bad card to draw. We're not attacking turn three, but you can play Rhymefang Wolf on three and then Caretaker on four. Um, I'm just going to pass. I don't know. I didn't really want to attack and then they do something else. I don't know. Cool. Withering Whale. Not bad. Well, now, Caretaker doesn't really matter. So we'll just attack like this. Everything's better with company. Says you. Says you. The Yordle here's with me. Man, is Withering Whale gonna be nice? Gonna be nice. Hopefully it happens. No transfusion, please. Just say bye, bye, Green Glade Duo, and pie. All right, they had the transfusion. Ouch, that's a lot of damage. Good draw. There you are. Worst card for me to see right now is the 4 3 elusive. But I'm glad we have the Withering Whale as backup for that. <laughs> Not you, sorry. <laughs> The monk, who is solitary. Let me show no, that's not a good one to see either. If they don't break, they'll burn. Yuck. Make the empire proud. Hey, scrub lord. Alright, we're probably gonna lose this. That that was not good for me. Uh, what do I even have in my deck? I mean, obviously I'm gonna have to cast this Glimpse Beyond. I guess I could just cast it. What do I need to draw? I have nothing. I have literally nothing. I have no removal. Nope, so we're dead. Uh, Withering Whale is the only removal spell. Um... Can't have two withering, can't cast two withering whales with a glimpse beyond, so. Yeah. I mean, I, could ca I can cast glimpse, but just looking at the deck list, there's nothing for me to draw. There's not a single, there's not a single answer. I'll just cast the glimpse so y'all can see what, what we would, what we will draw. There's not an answer in the deck. Oh, you know what? Uh, I defeat. My out was them playing bad. 
I guess I did have an out of them messing up because they could have put, they may have used the one mana thing, fast speed, and put that card back into play with retreat. And then if they do that with the retreat, then uh, since the card's a play trigger, they don't actually get the, the trigger. So maybe they would have been, maybe they would have played wrong and done that. Who knows? That That was my out. Uh, actually, honestly, I don't really have tips for an Azrael deck. I'm actually probably the worst person to ask about that. That's the one champion that every time I play, I don't do well with. That's that's the one champion I can't really uh, figure out, honestly, so I'm sorry. No idea what to play, too many decks. I understand that. Just basically, just pick one. Doesn't matter which one start grinding you're gonna earn the cards for the others you know and just kind of keep on uh keep on earning those cards um you know that's that's the thing to do i do think we maybe have too many blighted caretakers that's the one thing i don't love about our list i think we i think we have too many blighted caretakers All right, so I take two, they take two. I wouldn't mind if they want to block with some O3s. Help me out. Oh, you're, you already have all the cards? <laughs> now you have no idea what to play because of all the choices? That's more problematic then. Um. Tombstones. Yeah, I, that's true. I, I would have survived at one life if I would have used whale. But I guess, it, yeah, I, I could have just cast the whale. I didn't really feel like one life was me staying alive, but maybe it would, maybe it would have. Maybe I, yeah, maybe it would have. I should have just cast Whale last game. It's all good, though. Can't kill things. We need more. We need removal. This is unfortunately I just can't kill O threes at all. That's quite unfortunate. Yeah, I gotta use like two caretakers and probably probably turn four I should have used caretaker instead of Ash, I guess, to be the first caretaker. Hmm. 
Alright, you want to block stuff, you gotta block with Phantom. Phantom Prankster, if you want to block stuff. Okay, not blocking stuff. <laughs> Aggro deck never blocked stuff. True. So this thing's going to be dying and doing all this damage to me anyway. I can't stop that. have leveled up Ash the next turn. I was planning on playing my, my two drop, three drop, uh, which would level up the Ash, be able to attack. They wouldn't be able to block with all that stuff. Like, you know, like we would have had, um, you know, lethal coming back, but nope. So I don't like how we don't, how we can't kill anything. I am not a fan of how we can't kill anything at all. That's, that's one thing about our deck I really don't like. We have some cool little um, synergies and stuff, but I kind of feel like instead of playing the Blighted Caretakers, I haven't really liked these Blighted Caretakers. I haven't really liked these Callistas. I think instead of playing that kind of stuff, we should just be playing some removal. Um, let's see. Maybe we should keep the Callista. Okay, we get Callista back. I think our deck could use one, um, one Ruination. That's probably like a, a must-have for every kind of slower Shadow Isles deck to just have a Ruination to be able to use at certain times. The Winter's Claw Strikes! We, we shall not rest until all the traitors Yeah, maybe some grasp or black spear. Leave nothing standing. Um. Your death has been ordained. Okay, so I want to attack before Braum comes into play. I guess Braum can't even block the fierce up anyway. Cool. I like that trade. Green Glade Duo is going to be doing a lot of damage to me. I like that trade. Let us get going. Mm. Yeah, like we, we have to be able to kill a Braum sometimes, right? That's something we kind of have to do. Uh, 
That card's going to be a problem. Oh, more of a problem. It is easy, see? Hmm. Well. Prom is so good. Yeah, we need the wolf. Definitely need the wolf. I love that. I love I love the fear of the north. <clears throat> Being used right there. I hate that though. Yeah, I mean, we, I think we got to have a Ruination and got to have a Vengeance or two. I think those are musts. Take cards. This is fun, yes. You get a different if you get to seven wins in the gauntlet, you get a an icon that shows that you got to seven wins. Out of ten. Hmm. So we get Callista, Babbling Bureau, Chronicler, everyone. Babbling Bureau would not draw a card. We have all the ashes in hand. Um, I can go flash freeze, flash freeze, attack. They just have the one blocker left. But I'm not killing them. I kind of need the flash freeze on the way back with the green glade duo. Yes, rest is very important. Just act natural. I got you. Do not deny 
No. Yes. Full speed ahead. But they're saplings. The time is right. Strike now. Um. So just clearing up room and play for harrowing. We have to we have to one shot kill them. Which is not gonna be easy. Oh no! Ah! Uh, no, leveled up Callista. Means we don't get Ash. These are dangerous lands. No, we need Ash. Yeah, Callista's got to go. Callista and Bride of Caretaker. Those those two cards got to go. Okay, okay. Um, that's pretty good. That would give them some mighty poros. You're bringing back Babbling Bjerg, which would give me another Ash. Hmm. It's going to be difficult to win, but I don't think this is unwinnable. Braum is the biggest problem here. You've burned long enough. I will unite the Freljord. You die here, Queen Ash. I think I only have one Ash left in my deck to draw, because I think we have one that's dead, one that's in the deck. So I don't think it makes sense to attack with both Callistas. Unless we just want to, because they can, can't really kill. I guess we probably could have. Yeah, I mean, I guess I probably could have. The thing is, like, they let something else die. I mean, I could have supposed it was it wouldn't really do too much, but I guess he could have attacked with the other Callista. So they're not going to get the other Zed in play. I'd rather have that thing in play. Actually get the mighty poros. They shouldn't get mighty poros. Their their field is full. I should, yeah, there we go. Good. Yeah, I should just. Okay, but that they get that one. And they get one from there. Okay. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Thank you. 
Callista, Callista, Ash. I wish we could go wider, right? Like, I wish these Callistas could actually bring stuff back. I just, I need more ashes. Like, that's really what I need, is I just need a lot more ash. Baiting if I can stay alive and not cast harrowing. Like, can I? Yeah, we'll go. Go ahead. Basically, I don't want their Omen Hawk to be able to jump block. Or then have to block with other things. Yeah, we, we only have the one Ash to grab, but that's that's why I need to play the Flash Freeze to put the to put the Ash back into the deck so that we could draw the Ash again. Oh, that's great. That was a great draw. That's that was a great draw. Fantastic. Wow. Yeah, so I mean, that that means that we're dead, because now now I don't have Flash Freeze, because now I don't, like, the problem here is now I don't have Flash Freeze anymore to, for the Green Blade duo, so now we're just dead, unless we draw removal. That was just, like, a, a perfect draw for them. Come on, Harsh Winds. Oh, right, we had Crystal Arrow on top that we knew they were drawing, too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That was a great draw for them. Okay. Well, I think there's some good stuff with Ash Harrowing, but I think our, our list uh, needs some tune-up, like this this list here. Um, I was I really wasn't happy with Callista or Bl uh, Blighted Caretaker at all. Um, but basically all the rest of this stuff I liked. I liked everything else. Um, but I think those six slots could be put to better use. Um, let's see. I want, uh, okay, we need at least, at least one Grasp the Undying. We need at least one Vengeance and at least one Ruination. I think those are musts. Um... Besides that, uh, yeah, some people saying like play Thresh in this kind of deck. Honestly, yeah, I honestly kind of like Braum. I think Braum is really good these days. Uh, I could definitely see playing some Braum. Our deck does our deck does struggle with um, having too many units wide at points. Um, yeah, Miss Call's not bad. Let's see. Okay. Um, here, let's just discard the, that for now. D discard those changes. So this was like my other harrowing list that I was going to be kind of playing. So like in this one, it's kind of the same kind of thing, right? I got the sentries. We have one missed call. Um, oh yeah, I got hearth guards in here. Hearth guard is also awesome. This card is great and great with chronicler of ruin too. Probably just need three chronicler of ruin. That card is spectacular. You can see it's kind of the same same kind of thing. Oh, I don't have a ruination in here. I should have a ruination. Especially these days with Braum. Um, yeah, gotta have a ruination. But you can see it's not too much different. I basically just have like Hearthguard um, and Miscall. 
but I, I think I think that it is very important to have vengeance grasp. We've got to have like some hard removal like that. No, I don't want Hecarim at all because Hecarim Hecarim doesn't work in this kind of deck. Like the other champions, it's kind of weird because. Ash plus Rekindler is super powerful. Yeah, let's just get a third Chronicler in here. I think that's actually really good. The other champions kind of risk you not getting Ash back, which is kind of weird. Um... Okay, let's go like three Kronkler, two Bjerg. And then... Uh, let's actually play a Black Spear. I do think Black Spear is actually really good right now. The three damage is just pretty important. There's lots and lots of three health things everywhere. So one Black Spear, one Grasp, one Vengeance, one Ruination. That, that would get you to 38... Uh, no, you don't need Entreat. Babbling Bjerg is just better Retreat. Um, yeah, Box is definitely an option. So we could just go with, like, the couple Hearth Guards. I was, I was really happy with Hearth Guard. And yeah, Harrowing does bring back Hearth Guard. It's kind of more the whole Ash Rekindler thing. Maybe just want a second. Maybe we want a second Harrowing. Withering Whale did look pretty decent. Lots of lots of burn running around, so we'd got a second one of those. I kind of like Black Spear more than than the box, but maybe not. The box is actually the box is honestly pretty good too. Both those are, are not bad. We're at like one hour. Okay, let's let's play one extra game with like these six cards changed, taking out Callista, taking out Blighted Caretaker, um, and getting more removal in here, getting a Black Spear, a Grasp, a Vengeance, and a Ruination, those four, and then two Hearth Guards. And then switching up Bjerg and Ruin, because we did see how we didn't always have things for Bjerg to grab. Let's with I guess now Bjerg grabs more things with Hearth Guard, but still Chronicler Ruin's pretty awesome. Because we also, we're also going to need to, like, Chronicler of Ruin our Ash. Um, we're going to need to be able to do that so Rekindler can bring it back. And maybe let's play two Harrowing, two Rekindler. Should we do that? Should we switch, switch that up? Let's do two and two there. Okay, let's just play one more game with that, see how things go. Usually we only do five, but I want to try this again. All right, then we're gonna have Poros of the North next. Okay, so Ice Veil Archer, you know, usually you keep your two mana cards, but Ice Veil Archer against an Omen Hawk, Hapless Aristocrat deck, not really where I want to be. It's not going to trade profitably. I mean, I guess, I guess maybe I should have thought about it a little bit more where I can just not, uh, you know, attack ever with the card and not really block those things. And Ice Veil Archer does trade with both Elise and Callista if they need, if they want to like attack with turn two Elise. It is a two mana card that deals with turn two Elise, and they have the attack token on turn two. So honestly, I probably should have kept one Ice Veil Archer. But we're rewarded for mulliganing it because we just get a four two Ice Veil Archer, so it's just strictly better. So rewarded. And I'm not going to play Rhymefang Wolf. I'm not going to challenge Elise. 
I would I just wanted to have these kind of trade. I want to save Ryan Fang Wolf for um, attacking for whenever we have Ash. So let's just get this attack in right away. Yeah, because like those are just gonna trade, and that's that's okay with me. I pull the strings. I don't think this is a bad deck. I think we just had we just had like two cards that we just need to change. I don't think that I don't think it's a bad deck. I think this is a, a good deck. We just had two cards to change. And that's okay. Just one arrow. See the Nebastian border from here. All right, so goal. We attack with both. Swiftly now. They block here. They put Ash to one health. Hopefully, they don't kill Ash. At one health, and I can chronicler the Ash. Bring it back at full health. That's my goal. Darn. Goals don't always work out. Nothing escapes my watch. We'll use Chronicler on this thing to draw another card. These old eyes still see far and clear. Don't look that old. Are your eyes older than the rest of you? <laughs> yeah, Gloomtooth's awesome. Could have Withering Whale to not take three damage. Eh. Probably have a better Withering Whale. There we go. Better Withering Whale. Keep them from drawing two. Okay. They turn their Fury of the North into a draw two. I don't, I don't think that was a bad play from the opponent to turn Fury of the North into a draw two. Four mana burst speed draw two is that's a good card. I don't think that was a bad play. We shall their villains. See, look at Black Spear. Good card. It's a good card right there. Darn. Uh, why did they use Fury? Because they're... I was going to... Like, their... Their thing was going to die, and so they weren't going to draw two from the Glimpse Beyond because of my Withering Whale. And so they used Fury of the North to have it survive Withering Whale, so they did draw two cards. I, I honestly, I would have preferred them to keep Fury of the North and not draw two cards. I I would rather them have a Fury of the North in hand than two random cards. So I I was sad they did that. Um, all right, let me just, what are, you, what are you getting just so I have some information? We got an Ash and some Averroes and Sentries and stuff. Okay, okay. It's going to draw some cards. The three one won't frostbite anything. That's again, it's a play trigger. I 
We got two out of five right now. Play Brittle Steel and this. Let's see, no. What if we go Grass? Yeah, we're gonna go Grasp. This allows me to play Ash this turn. Oh, maybe I should just Grasp like the Ford thing and just let that die. Keep one mana for Brittle Steel for next turn. Arrowing, Brittle Steel. I think I have all these little 1-1s one block. Oh, fresh soil. Well, that was weird. That was not what they expected to happen, of course. They expected to get the 4 power thing first. Very good for me. That is very good for me. Stand together. Show me a target. Um Do I want the 4-2 trading with the 2-1? Do I want them to be able to, like basically do I want to clear up the spaces? I don't like you know, I have like the harrowing that Rewards me for clearing out spaces, but I don't think so. Because I think that I, I would likely just want to, like, un, like whenever I untap next turn, just, like, double harsh winds kind of thing and just attack out and with this 4-2 and, and uh, attack for lethal that way. I think that's what I'm going to want to be doing. Likely not casting this this harrowing. And as you tell, they're just trying to make the biggest they who endure they can. Yeah, the previous endure like in like on defense into this was a misplay. My aim is true. Oh, I guess I could have blocked with the wrong thing, Wolf. Yeah, I should have blocked with the Rampin' Wolf, my bad. My bad. So good. This is the power of an iceborn. 
I would have got punished for that if they would have had Fury of the North. Um, you know, if that was their one of their last two cards was Fury of the North, could have killed my Ryan Fang Wolf, but it's all good. From every fallen, a new seed. There we go. GG's. So yeah, I liked that Grass of the Undying. I I would kind of, you know, I like this I like this list better now. I think uh, playing this later on, I would recommend changing those six cards um, like we talked about. Ba Babbling Bjerg sometimes will draw Hearthguard now instead of Ash, but I still think that's okay. We did have like a little bit, it kind of felt like, kind of felt like, like only having Ash to draw. Maybe that wasn't um, perfect, but... I do love Hearthguard with Chronicler of Ruin also. That's another uh, neat thing to have. Um, but there we go. There's Ash Harrowing. Um, you know, start off uh, start off a little... Yeah, basically, we just got to get that removal in there. That's the thing. Play play your uh, hard removal to, to kill stuff. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments as well if you've been playing some uh, your own like Ash Harrowing decks or anything like that. Always love seeing um, any questions, comments, that kind of stuff on YouTube. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Ash Harrowing, and I'll see you for the next video.